Oh well, no use, no use belly aching about it. It's not Linus's responsibility. I should have gotten to the, the door faster. <laughs> All right. Wait, where do I even get these hops from? Ah, oh, I'm using my premium hops. Okay, get ye yonder. <laughs> wait, wait. I missed one, I missed one. Hold it. There. Fixed it. All right, now. Pog, we got it done. Um, uh, all right. How are we doing on the gold situation? Oh God, I didn't accidentally sell all my gold, did I? Wait, no, I spent it at Clint's house. All right. All right, we're gonna start saving our gold again, my darlings. We have to, to get everything upgraded. Wait, what do we need for that anyways? Um, let's see. Scythe does not get upgraded. Well, you can get a, a, an improvement later, but okay. You don't have to go to Clint's house for that. Bamboo pole, nah, pole, no. Okay, we need to goldify the ax and the, um, ch -ch 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 -ch. well, and the watering can, that's the only things, right? Well, we're halfway there. Um, and then we need to platinum everything. Mm -hmm. But if the spirits are in a really bad mood today, we really shouldn't go to the caves. We won't find a lot of gold and we'll get our lunches eaten in the worst of ways. Oh wait, where's that other sword? Did I put it away? I think I did. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we got just a basic pole, my darlings. Huh, should we go fishing? You know, we should buy the updated version. Then we should go fishing. Wait, do we have any bait? Ah. Uh. Oh, Jojo opened a store and is raining chaos. Absolutely, they're extortionary. Thousand dollars for delivering me to my door. My my door was five steps away. Ah, uh, how dare. Hmm. Well, I average between 190 and 220 for bowling, but I've hit a plateau. Oh, swimming is amazing. I had a brief uh, period on the swim team for my school in high school. Ah, Dark Sun, you're so lucky that your school had a pool. Ah, I'm so jealous. Ah, you see, I'm not a strong swimmer, my darlings, but I'm really good at floating. <laughs> really good at just kind of floating along, just kind of enjoying the scenery, you know. Ah, let's see, where, oh, where? Did I have any bait? I'm convinced that I did. Oh, we should be planting the winter seeds. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Wait, they work the way I think they do, right? I think so. Okay. I forgot we had these. Okay, 30 of them. Uh-huh. I really thought there was a way to, you know, like, multi-hoe, so to speak. Am I thinking of the wrong game? Hmm. Possibly. Alright, gotta get all these nice seeds in here. Yeah! Alright. Put a few down here. One, two, three, four, and five. Do I have to water these? I don't even know. There we go. Just in case. <laughs> oh no, we don't have our watering can. Unpog. <sighs> oh well. Have to wait. What a time to choose to plant those. Uh, bait. That's what we're looking for. God, I'm so easily distracted. We never got these processed at Clint's place. But then again, we can't while he's working on a tool, as I recall. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, hi, Kansan. How are you doing today? Uh, oh, I specialize in short sprints. Uh, you're very athletic, Dark Son. Very athletic. Uh, oh, time for me to go back to work. Uh, bye, Nina. All right, Dark Son. Have a good time at work. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, you are very, very athletic. I, ugh, I hated sports. <laughs> I was always getting creamed. Oh my God. Ugh, just 
freak accidents and they're like god they're like how come everything that happens happens to her and they're like poor thing you know i and they're like she keeps getting hit in the head with the ball <laughs> had a few concussions too i do not like sports just because they kept getting hurt oh i didn't deserve it my darlings i did not deserve that kind of abuse Really, Clint, though? Are you not done with my tool yet? Nope, still working on it. <sighs> my God. And they're like, oh, they're like, watch out, Nina. And then it would clock me right in the head. Always like, if only warnings could travel as fast as footballs. <laughs> Flying at high speeds through the air. And basketballs. Oh, my God. I'm like, ah, you know, be knocked out. Ah! And they're like, quick, they're like, go help her up. And I'm like, ugh, and they're like, I'm like, no, no, put me down, put me down. I said, I, I just, I, oh, what's going on here? Ahoy, come in, make yourself at home. Uh-huh, I certainly will. Thank you very much, Willie son. Aye, that's the good stuff there the fish go crazy for. Just uh, make sure to wash your hands good after dipping them in those juices. Uh, don't say it like that. The aroma has been known to linger for up to seven weeks, miss. Ugh. So, you've been catching a lot of fish? Mm, uh, let's lie. Yes, I have. <laughs> Aha, lady after me own heart. You can always count on a lady who fishes. Can you? Is that like a thing? I didn't know that. That's what me old pappy used to say, at least. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, keep it going. If you can catch every fish in these waters, I've got a special prize waiting for you. Ah, thank you, Willie son. Uh, what's wrong? Aye, well, business has been tough lately. It's all started about the same time that that old community center fell to ruin. Me fish just don't uh, sell like they used to. I've been working double time just to make ends meet. Ah, oh, Willie son. No time for me own projects. But if he, uh, but if things picked up around here, I might have time to show you something. Really? <laughs> yep. She's back there, an old friend that's seen better days. Hmm, really? Someday, miss, you'll see what I mean. Now I am curious. Now I am indeed curious. Uh, let's see. Still remember that pain stream for a while back. Uh... Yes, Kansan, the pain stream. The famous pain stream. Oh, look at the Fisher bed. That's so cute. Rustic and cute. All right, I'm buying the fiberglass rod. Thank you so much, Willie son. I just want to go fishing. Let me fish at will. Fish on, fish on. All right. Give me the bait. Give me all of the bait. Give me so much bait that I can't carry it all that I can't handle it. Give me the bait. Ah. Oh my god. But yes, the pain. No, don't throw that away. I just bought it. The in infamous pain stream. My, my. I'm just saying, my darlings. Either I'm clumsy or everybody else is. I can't decide. <laughs> I was always getting, oh my god, destroyed. Uh, there was always something that hit me in the head, whether it was a basketball or a baseball or a softball or so many concussions. They're like, she has the worst luck ever. And I'm like, huh, they might have something to their theory. And I'm like, nobody else is getting hit with the balls. But then again, this one kid did get in trouble. He threw a basketball at the back of my head, knocked me out, had quite the concussion from it. Couldn't do anything the rest of the day. Had to just kind of sit and chill. And they wouldn't let me sleep. Apparently sleeping when you have a concussion is a bad thing. And they didn't call my parents and tell them. I'm like, ugh, they probably didn't want to get sued. But the kid um, who did it and everything, he did it on purpose. They saw him do it. That was the deliberate aim. That wasn't just either just a little throw. He uh, like hauled back. Ooh, a tuna. He hauled back with one arm and threw it as hard as he could. So he did it on purpose. 
Ugh, he almost, like, if he had hit just a little bit higher, he probably would have knocked the brain stem loose. It probably would have killed me. <laughs> Ugh. So who's saying that I'm the unluckiest person ever? I say I'm pretty lucky. You know how many near misses I've survived that other people didn't survive? Many. I feel like a video game character. Mm -hmm. uh, whose player is especially good at negating risk. Tuna, tuna, tuna. Uh, but yes, my darlings, I think I'm lucky. Oh God, why did I remind myself of Papyrus when I said that? He's the type who would think that he was lucky even if he's unlucky. My goodness, he thinks he's cool when he's not. Well, a lot of the other people in Snowden probably doesn't think he's very cool, but I think he's cool. He's, he's a pog skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> Sanso is really cool though. I can see why he's everybody's favorite character. Although I heard that in Deltarune, the second one, he doesn't really make that much of a, an impact or an appearance. I saw Jacksepticeye picked it up again, like, once they got the next chapter added, like, for the first time in, like, two years? I don't know. I felt kind of sad, in a way, coming back to it. You know, just, we all change over time. I love Jack to pieces, but he's been going through some things lately, I think. If the content that he's made recently is any indication. I just wish he'd take more time out for mental health, you know, my darlings? His, his, the people that love him will be there for him when he gets back. And you know, I just... When he first played Undertale, and I do remember pieces and parts of when he played Undertale, like not really the story so much or what happened in it, but I remember the feeling. He was practically in tears. I was crying. It was a good time. And the thing is though, is it had such a hopeful ending and such as I recall. And, and it just, it was life changing watching Jack play that. It did wonders for my mood at the times I recall. I was going through a lot of, a lot of shit myself. Oh my goodness. But I don't know, when he went back to Delta Room. Oh God, what is that? Put it back. Ooh, nice. When he went back to Delta Room, like for the second time when that new chapter was added, I don't know. Maybe too much has changed. I didn't get that special feeling from the first two from Undertale and Delta Room from him this time. Maybe he's tired of the, the series. That's okay, we all get tired of things. Maybe he's, he just wasn't in a good headspace. Maybe he's just growing up. I don't know. Honestly, couldn't say. I just hope that he's all right. Ooh, new record. You know, it's kind of strange though, my darlings. You know, like, Markiplier and Jacksepticeye are very different from each other, but I watch both of them. I like them for each of their different personality traits. And uh, they are very different. Um, uh, Markiplier hasn't seemed to go through, like, a huge, like, I don't know what you'd call it. A, a period, like, a lobe period. Maybe he's just, I don't know. He's human, just like you or me, but he's he's able to keep a stability to him that's actually rather surprising. I wonder how he does it. How the heck does Markiplier stay so much the same year after year after year? How does he have this much stability in his, his mental space? I'd love to know his secret. Did you see that? What was that at the corner of my eye? That was weird, whatever that was. I don't know. Maybe I'm imagining things. Could be. Mm -hmm. uh, but I must say, my darlings, as an artist, 
type. I do go back and forth. My my entire life and mood is kind of like the ocean is the way I describe it. Which is funny considering number one, I fear the ocean. And number two, I'm a cancer crab on the zodiac scale. Okay, we gotta eat something. We're gonna pass out. Cave carrot it is. Breakfast of the champions. Nom 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 nom. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Ah. But yes, my moods fluctuate like the ocean. Sometimes I'm high on top of the sky, you know, just flying high, just unbelievable stamina, fortitude, and energy, and I don't need to sleep, and, and I can do anything, you know? I can conquer the world, oh, that kind of mood. Oh my god, ooh, that's a big tuna. Um, but other times, you know, I'm kind of dragging the ground with my knuckles, I'm like, oh, I just can't. I said I can't do it. I, I can't do it anymore. Thank God those periods don't last very long. And I always remind myself that I'm like an ocean. I said, you're gonna come out of this. I said, it doesn't seem like you can. I said, it doesn't feel like you can right now. And I said, but you're gonna wake up in like a month and everything's gonna be okay again. I said, you just have to get through today. Then you just have to get through tomorrow. I said, you can do it. You just gotta wait this out, this mood. But yes, my darlings, if you ever reach that point where you feel that nothing's ever gonna get better, wait it out. That's the best advice I can give you. Wait it out. Happier times are coming. You just have to wait. But if things don't get better after like a year, you may need to seek help. Ugh. But if you're like me, a little cancer crab getting tossed around by the ocean, just wait it out. <laughs> you can do it. It hurts, but you know what? Pain is temporary. Remind yourself of this. This is a saying I heard back when I was a kid and I've always used it. This too shall pass. Best advice I could give. Mm -hmm. Hold on to that. The reality that things will not always be like however they are that's making you miserable. Life has a way of changing. We have a way of changing as we, we grow and evolve as people. Oh, bye Willie. He just came out of his shop. I guess he's going to the bar. Maybe we'll join them all. You know, make ourselves seen. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we got so many fish though, my darlings. Who cares about the spirit, spirits and their bad luck that they were going to dis bestow upon us? Because they were in a bad mood, they were going to punish us too. Who cares? The fishing gods are happy with us. The fish are a plenty. Ah. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. That's your own fault. Nina, come on. Come on, Nina. You can do it. Nina Sama? Ooh, nice. You see, every tuna we catch is like a bajillion dollar bill. Tuna can net us quite a bit of money. <laughs> oh my goodness, though. So. Ah! Uh. But you know what? Oh, I wanted that treasure chest. Doggone it. You know what, though, Kansan? san And this is the honest truth as well concerning pain. Now, some pain is pointless. Like if the body keeps belly aching about something you already know about and can't fix, it's pointless. It's kind of cruel of the body to keep complaining. But if you're experiencing pain, like the body's either trying to warn you of something or your mind is trying to warn you of something. So in a way, pain is a teacher. <gasps> Albacore! Wait, didn't we need that for that one bundle? Oh. Hello there, Yaro-san. How are you doing, my darling? Welcome to the stream. Nya, nya. Uh, oh, hi, Elliot. Hold on, I, I get a bone to pick with you. Breathe deeply. Do you not notice it? That's the smell of the sea. Well, it's right there. Um, I don't know if you noticed. 
Doing good? Excellent. I'm doing well. I'm doing well, Yaru-san. Oh my goodness. Had a nice breakfast. In a great mood. Maybe, maybe it's the winter that's putting me in a good mood. Christmas is, is not too far away now, my darlings. You know, it's funny though. When we're kids, we're, we do, we're just like, ah, oh, I can't wait another day, you know, for Christmas. When you're an adult, you're like, ah, it'll be here soon. <laughs> you just, you're, you're like, ah, well, you know. You know, patience, patience, you know, it's, good things are worth waiting for. And, and kids around you are like, but I want it now. And you're like, ah, eh, it'll be here. <laughs> all right, ocean fish. Okay, all right. Tuna. Uh, what is that guy? A red snapper, a tilapia. All right, we got a tuna. Wait, you don't need an albacore? Really? Uh, um, uh, huh, strange. All right, let's go to the community center. We do have a little bit of time. Oh, as kids, we were always in a rush for things. Indeed, indeed. And when we hit adults, we're either chill and we don't care, or we wish that things would slow down. <laughs> uh, I don't know, my darlings. Time is finally beginning to speed up a little bit for me. It seemed that time would just slowly crawl like a turtle. I'm like, would you? please but now I'm just like oh things are in normal pace now maybe this is you know like the way things are supposed to feel you know but I'm sure that in a few more years hey eh, give it 20 or so I'm gonna wish that things would slow down <laughs> isn't that always the way all right off we get back home um are those uh, Christmas fruitcakes actually consumed? They're paperweights and we all know it, Kansan. Uh, or is it one of those things that, um, that just get gifted? They are paperweights, you can't change my mind. They're not meant to be eaten. <laughs> the people that eat them, well, that can actually digest them rather, I should say, are brave souls. <sighs> yes, big old fat, fruit smelling paperweights that's all they are <laughs> they want you to think you're supposed to eat them because then they can charge more for them that's the the skinny that's the scam my darlings ah oh, it's an egregious affront to real cake but oh, that's one of those western culture things i never get the fruit cake thing i don't even get it and i live here Kansan. who even came up with <gasps> Who even came up with a fruit cake? Why a fruit cake? Where a fruit cake? I don't even know. I just know I don't want any. You're not the only one who who who's confused, who's puzzled, who's bedoggled. Why a fruit cake? They're so gross. Who'd want to eat that 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 abomination? That thing? Ah. Uh, now, if I was hungry enough, I'd eat it. Would I be happy about it? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, we're saving this guy because I don't, I don't know if we're going to need him. All right, is there anything else I should be saving? Ugh, that's the problem in games like these. I get so, so hoarder, you know, my darling. So, so hoard worthy because I'm like, ah, uh, do I need this? Do I need that? Okay, we'll save one of each. Wait, wait, I'll save the platinum one. Mm -hmm. And we'll save one silver mullet. Uh, uh, wait, wait, there's a platinum one of these too. Okay, we're saving only the best, my darlings, the best of the best. Okay, do we have one of these? Yes, we have one of these, we have one of those. We have one of these, we got the tuna fish and the albacore. Okay, we can sell these. Oh, wait, wait, I'm not selling these. They're actually very useful, you'd be surprised. Okay, we're building another chest, my darlings. Okay, um, let's take you right there. That looks good. Um, wait, wait, wait. Okay, seaweed, cute seaweed, uh, cucumbers. Um, uh, just a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, put you in here, put you in here, put you in here, put you in here, you, you and you. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, put you on the fishing pole. 
Oh, I said on the fishing pole. Put this pole away in case I need a spare. Yes, we're staying organized, my darlings. We're, we're, we're being pog about it. <laughs> ah, no, I didn't mean to do that. Wait, what did I even do? Oh, get back in there. Ah. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, I guess we shouldn't stick these fish in here. That's like a bad location for them. We'll put them in the other chest. Oh, so uh, fruitcakes are over 100 years old, practically heirlooms. I don't know, Kansan. I just know I don't like them. And, and they scare me. Something about them freaks me out. I don't like fruitcakes. I don't even know why fruitcake. Why, why the heck would anybody want to give anyone a fruitcake? We actually make jokes about it too, like, uh, hold on, like, okay. This will give you some context, I think. The Joker in, um, was it Arkham Origins? Honestly, can't remember. But the thing is though, he's eating fruitcake during the Christmas time thing, right? And the thing is he asks if anybody else wants a piece. And the thing is, I thought to myself, that is just like the Joker. He's the only one crazy enough to eat a fruitcake. Everybody else just kind of throws them out. Nobody wants a fruitcake but the Joker. He's the only one who actually likes them. <laughs> oh my god, though. That just goes to show you, the whole saying of nuttier than a fruitcake. That applies to the Joker, so of course he would eat fruitcakes. It's only fitting. Okay, there we go. My god, Pammy. Good old Pammy girl would be robbing us if she knew that we had this many pale ales in one spot. Ugh, can't let her know, my darlings. We have to keep this on the hush-hush. There we go. Oh my god, did I miss that tea time? Ugh, Dark Sun gave a tea time 32 minutes ago. Oh my god. Hold on, my darlings. I think I missed it. Let me just... Mmm... Ah, oh, so good. Arigata. Hey, I, I try to make sure that I do all of my redeems, my darlings. Try not to miss any. Okay, now we're gonna go to bed. Hopefully our doggone um, watering can will be done. Okay, ooh, a recycling machine. I hate those. <laughs> It's like, thanks, I hate it. Seriously, it's just not worth the effort to keep putting stuff in them. Oh my god, you don't get enough for it. I'd rather just throw out the garbage. Maybe that's why the world is in the state it is today. Ooh, our gold can, water can is ready. Mm. Huh? Oh, you're still here? Well, in that case, why don't you click on another video? Let's see. Oh, that one's good. Oh, that one's good too. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> I wonder which one you'll make. Hmm. Well, what are you waiting on? The videos won't click themselves.